Good evening and welcome to another piano lesson with Warren. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these and I've decided to jump back in and do some more tutorials. Uh, this evening, there are two types of chords I would like to talk about. The first one is the diminished chord and the second one is the augmented chord. Uh, my last tutorial, I believe, was on minor chords and major chords. Uh, this time, I'm going to look at diminished and augmented chords. Okay, so the diminished chord is a little bit different than the minor and the major. You can start a song with pretty much a minor chord, major chord, or a minor chord. But it's rare that you would hear someone start a song with a diminished chord or an augmented chord. Not saying it's not possible, but those chords are mostly used as transitional chords. Before I get into showing you how the chords are used, let's talk about how to construct the chords. Now, the diminished chord I call the symmetric chord. I call it symmetric or symmetrical because it's comprised of minor thirds. And when uh, in my next tutorial, when I look at sevenths, you'll see that by stacking another minor third on top of that, you get a fully diminished seventh chord. But for now, we're just going to look at the triad version of the diminished chord. And remember that a triad is just a three note chord. Minor thirds, if you're wondering what those are, you can check out my tutorial on intervals, describe uh, um, the different type of intervals from major second, minor third, major third, and so on. So minor third, minor third gives you a diminished chord. Or you can look at it from this perspective where you have a minor third and a diminished fifth, whichever way is most comfortable for you to see the chord. So this is a diminished chord. Another way you can get to a diminished chord from a major chord, take C major for example, is by lowering the third and lowering the fifth. So with any major chord, by simply lowering the third and the fifth, you get a diminished chord. That's it. That's how you get a diminished chord. Take the fifth, take the a major chord, lower the third, and lower the fifth. And you should have minor thirds. That's the diminished chord. Now, how it is used, the diminished chord is primarily used as a passing chord going to a minor chord. So the diminished chord like to resolve on a minor chord. For example, if I'm going from C major to D minor, I can use C sharp diminished as a passing chord to go to D minor. Then D sharp diminished as a passing chord to go to E minor. Nice sound. So that's one way in which you can use a diminished chord as a, a, a passing chord. And we call it passing chord because we use it as a transition going to another chord, mostly minor. Another case where I use the diminished chord where it doesn't resolve to a minor is in a sequence of a cycle of fourth. And I'm also going to do a tutorial in cycle of fourth if you don't know what that is. But basically, the chords move up in fourth. They're all a fourth apart. One, two, three, four, 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 four. If I want to go to A minor, I can use an E seventh to precede that chord before I get to the E minor, the A minor. But also before I get to the E seventh, I can use a B diminish. Minor third, minor third, take B major, lower the third and fifth, and you get B diminished. So here, and 
I get a nice little fourth movement going to A minor. Again, do it slowly. B diminished, which moves me up to E7, then to A minor. I could have also done this. C major, to A minor. What I just did there, I used G sharp diminished again, which resolved to A minor. But you know, to make it fancy, I, I can also make this more fancy. Just did some more stuff there. But anyway, those are some applications in which you can use a diminished chord. You can go on and try some different stuff, you know, but the two ways is one, diminished chord likes to resolve to minor. You can also use it in a cycle of fourth. So in this case, the diminished followed by a dominant seventh. I'm also going to do tutorials on dominant seven, so don't worry if you don't know what those are. Resolve to a minor. Okay, so that's the diminished chord for you. The next chord <clears throat> I want to discuss is the augmented chord. The chord comes from the whole tone scale. That's where you find the augmented chord. This chord can also be called a symmetrical chord because it's comprised of minor thirds. I mean major thirds, sorry. Major third, major third. And it gives you the augmented chord. Or a major third and an augmented fifth. This is an interval of an augmented fifth. That's the diminished I mean the augmented chord. <laughs> now, an important thing about the augmented chord is that there are only four of them. There are only four augmented chords. C, C sharp, D, and E flat. Look what happens when I go to E augmented. It's just an inversion of C. And that's why there's only four of them. You'd say now, so what about F? If I play F augmented, it's just an inversion of C sharp or D flat. If I play F sharp augmented, an inversion of what? D. G augmented is just an inversion of E flat. A flat augmented is an inversion of E, which also is an inversion of C, and so on. So there are only four augmented chords, really. They're all inver inversions of the other. Another thing I forgot to point out is that when diminished is used as a seventh, when you have a diminished seventh, it only gives you three diminished seventh chords. C diminished seventh, C sharp diminished seventh, D diminished seventh, and then if you go to E flat, it's just an inversion of C. E diminished seventh is just an inversion of C sharp and so on. So just to recap that, when a diminished chord is used as a seventh, meaning you add the other double flatted seventh to it, you can only get uh, three possibly diminished chord on the keyboard. If you try to find more, it's just going to be inversions of the other. So that makes it easy. C diminished is also E flat diminished. It's also F sharp diminished. It's also A diminished. C sharp diminished is also E diminished, G diminished, B flat diminished. 
D diminished is also F diminished, F A flat diminished, and B diminished, and so on. So just decide now. Back to the augmented chord. So there are only four of them. Yeah. Now, how augmented chords are used, because again, it's not one of those chords that does well on its own to just, you know, you can bounce on a major chord for a while, or a minor, but an augmented, it sounds weird, it's like, okay, it wants to go somewhere. So augmented chord can be used as a transition to a minor. For example, this A wants to go this G sharp wants to resolve to A. You can hear it happening. Or you can use it as a transition just to a minor six, a major six. there so the diminished the, uh, augmented chord is predominantly used again as a passing figure you can play around and and get some cool sounds out of that another case where the uh, the augmented chord is is used is as an altered chord and this is a big chord I haven't done a tutorial on this yet an altered chord is basically a C7, sharp nine, sharp five. When you use it as an extension like that, the altered chord sounds good. Cases you can use that C7, sharp five, sharp nine, G minor nine, C altered, F6 nine, or F major nine. Nana. Get that nice altered chord right there. Also, uh, when I do this turn around, this is another altered chord, huh? sharp five, sharp nine. So those that the, the diminished, the augmented chord works well as alterations like that. You know, they call it the sharp five chord. Just to recap, diminished chord, sorry, <laughs> augmented chord, built on major thirds, and there are only four of them on the piano. After E flat, everything else you play augmented is just going to be an inversion of the other chord. Diminished chord, the symmetric chord also built on minor thirds. Diminished chord, when used as a triad, you can't get just three of them. Because see, when you get to E flat, it's not an inversion of C. That only applies when you use a diminished chord as a seventh. Then there are only three of them. So, hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Please comment below, like the video, subscribe. I'm, I plan on doing tutorial on literally everything I know about music and piano playing and theory. So, hang out with me, check out more tutorials. Again, like the video, subscribe, and let me know if you have any questions about this tutorial or any tutorials or topics you would like me to cover in the future. Until then, my name is Warren, keep practicing, see you soon.